30 days novena prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ever glorious and blessed Mary, Queen of Virgins, Mother of Mercy, through that sword of sorrow which pierced thy tender heart, whilst thy only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, suffered death and ignominy on the cross. Through that filial tenderness and pure love he hast for thee, while from his cross he recommended thee to the care and protection of his beloved disciple, St. John, take pity, I beseech thee, on my poverty and need, have compassion on my anxieties and cares, assist and comfort me in all my infirmities and miseries. Thou art the mother of mercies, the only refuge of the needy and the orphan, of the desolate and afflicted. Cast therefore an eye of pity on this sorrowful child of Eve, and hear my prayer, for since, in just punishment of my sins, I find myself surrounded by a multitude of evils, and oppressed with much anguish of spirit. Where I can fly for more secure shelter, O loving Mother of my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, than under the wings of thy maternal protection. Listen, therefore, I beseech thee, with an air of pity and compassion, to my humble and earnest request. I ask it through the infinite mercy of thy dear Son, through that love and humility with which he embraced our human nature, when through thy own obedience to the divine will, thou didst consent to become his mother, and whom, after nine months, you didst bring forth from thy chaste womb, to visit this world, and bless it with his presence. I ask it, through the anguish of mind of thy beloved Son, our dear Saviour, on Mount Olivet, when he besought his eternal Father, to remove from him, if possible, the bitter chalice of his future passion. I ask it, through the threefold repetition of his prayers in the garden, from whence afterwards in sorrow thou didst accompany him to the scene of his death and sufferings. I ask it, through the laceration of his sinless flesh, caused by the cords and whips with which he was bound and scourged, when stripped of his seamless garments, for which his executioners afterwards cast lots. I ask it, through the scoffs and ignominies by which he was insulted, the false accusations and unjust sentence by which he was condemned to death, and which he bore with enduring patience. I ask it, through his bitter tears and bloody sweat, his silence and resignation, his sadness and grief of heart. I ask it, through the blood which trickled from his royal and sacred head, when struck with a sceptre of a reed, and pierced with his crown of thorns. I ask it, through the excruciating torments he suffered, when his hands and feet were fastened with nails to the tree of the cross. I ask it, through his unbearable thirst and bitter potion of vinegar and gall. I ask it, through his dereliction on the cross, when he exclaimed, My God, my God! Why hast thou forsaken me? I ask it, through his mercy extended to the good thief, and through his recommending his precious soul and spirit into the hands of his eternal Father, before he expired, saying, It is finished. I ask it, through the blood mixed with water, which issued from his sacred side, when pierced with a lance from whence a flood of grace and mercy has flowed to us. I ask it, through his immaculate life, bitter passion and ignominious death on the cross, at which even nature itself was thrown into convulsions by the bursting of rocks, rending of the veil of the temple, the earthquake and darkness of the sun and the moon. 
I ask it, through his glorious victory over death, when he arose again to life on the third day, and through the joy which his appearance for forty days gave at thee, his blessed mother, his apostles, and the rest of his disciples, when in thy and their presence he miraculously ascended into heaven. I ask it, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, infused into the hearts of his disciples, when he descended upon them in the form of fiery tongues, and by which they were inspired with zeal for the conversion of the world, when they went to preach the gospel. I ask it, through the glorious appearance of thy Son, at the last day, when he shall come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by fire. I ask it, through the compassion he bore in this life, and the wonderful joy thou didst feel at thine assumption into heaven, where thou doth eternally contemplate his divine perfection. O glorious and ever-blessed Virgin, comfort the heart of thy suppliant by obtaining for me. Hear mention or reflect on your request. <laughs> And as I believe that my divine Saviour honours thee as his beloved mother, to whom he refuses nothing contrary to his honour, so let me soon experience thy powerful intercession. Wherefore, O most blessed Virgin, beside my present petition, and whatever else I may stand in need of, obtain for me also of thy dear Son, our Lord and our God, a lively faith, firm hope, perfect charity, true contrition of heart and genuine tears of compunction, sincere confession, satisfaction and deliverance from sin, love of God and my neighbour, a correct attitude to the world, patience to suffer insults, even death itself, for love of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Obtain likewise for me, O Holy Mother of God, perseverance in good works, the carrying out of my good resolutions, mortification of my self-will, a holy life, and, at my last moment, a strong and sincere repentance, with such presence of mind as will enable me to receive the last sacrament of the Church worthily, so as to die in God's friendship and favour. Lastly, I beseech thee, for the souls of my parents, brethren, relatives and benefactors, both living and dead, life everlasting, from the only giver of every good and perfect gift, the Lord God Almighty, to whom be all power, now and for ever. Amen. Prayer to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Immaculate Heart of Mary, heavenly beauty and splendor of the Father, you are the most valued heavenly treasure. New Eve, immaculate in soul, spirit and body, created of the godly seed by the Spirit of God, you are the spiritual mother of mankind pure virgin, full of grace then and now, your whole being was raised heavenly in full glory, to be elevated above all the hosts within the kingdom of God. O Heavenly Mother, Queen of Heaven and Earth, I recognize the glory of your highest title, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Loving Mother, Dispenser of endless blessings, you who continuously intercede on our behalf, please present my need before your loving Son, Jesus. In your own words, make a special request here. Do not just mention a word. Speak to the Immaculate Heart of Mary as you would speak to another person, begging your Heavenly Mother to plead to Jesus on your behalf that you be granted this special request. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, I know that you are now presenting my need before Jesus for you have never turned away those in dire need. Mother dearest, I await your favourable answer, submitting myself to the divine will of the Lord, for all glories are His for ever and ever. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, full of goodness, show your love towards us. Let the flame of your heart, O Mary, descend on all people. 
we love you immensely. Impress true love in our hearts, so that we have a continuous desire for you. O Mary, gentle and humble of heart, remember us when we are in sin. You know that all men sin. Give us, by means of your immaculate heart, spiritual health. Let us always see the goodness of your motherly heart, and may we be converted by means of the flame of your heart. Amen. Mary, my Immaculate Mother, I desire to offer thee reparation for the offenses which thy Immaculate Heart receives from the horrible blasphemies which are uttered against thee. I offer thee these praises to console thee for so many ungrateful children who do not love thee, and to console the heart of thy Divine Son who is so deeply offended by the insults offered to thee. Receive, my purest Mother, this little act of homage. Make me love thee more each day, and look with pity on those blasphemers, that they may not delay to cast themselves into thy maternal arms. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.